Ivy Tech Community College, Columbus, COM 101. Square, plumb, and level. Those are three words that a carpenter should have in their minds every time they go to build something, every time. Square, plumb, and level. All right, square means that we're 90 degrees from one line to another. Okay, plumb is a vertical position that's straight up and down. And level is a horizontal position that is true flat, right? So, square plumb level, we need to be thinking about this every time we go to build something. Carpenters have several tools that help them do square plumb and level. Framing squares, lasers, plumb bobs, string lines. There are several tools out there. Now, I'm going to show you today how to create a 90 degree triangle using the 345 method. Now the 345 method was theorized by a Greek mathematician named Pythagoras. In about 500 BC he decided that a right triangle, which a right triangle means that we have a 90 degree angle in one corner. Okay? A right triangle the sum of both sides would equal the sum of the hypotenuse. Now I said that a little wrong. The sum of the squares of both sides would equal the square of the hypotenuse. So Pythagoras came up with that mathematical formula you guys probably all remember from high school, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If I square the altitude, I square the base, I add those two together, I should equal the hypotenuse. c is always the hypotenuse, which is the long side of the triangle. Alright? So now let's plug in 3, 4, 5. If I say that this is 3 feet, the altitude is 3 feet, the base is 4 feet, then the hypotenuse must be 5 feet and that would create a square corner or 90 degrees. We're going to plug it in. Three times three? Nine. Four times four? Five times five? Nine plus sixteen? So it works. Pythagoras knew what he was talking about way back when, 500 years ago. So, now that we know that this works, a carpenter can utilize this and has been utilizing this for years, hundreds and hundreds of years, to lay out square corners. The corners in our buildings, we want 90 degrees. We don't want them opened up because it makes all the drywall, the track, the studs going into each other. If it's not 90 degrees, it's a little too hard. It's pretty easily done. All you need is a tape measure, a chalk line, and a pencil. And you can lay this out, and you lay out perfect 90 degree corners every time. Now, since I'm on the chalkboard, I'm not going to be able to show you a chalk line with a pencil. I'm going to use just a piece of chalk and my tape measure and I'm going to utilize the 345 method. Now, 345 can also be varied. It doesn't always have to be 3, 4, and 5. If I take the number and I multiply, or if I take each number and multiply it by the same number, I still have a what's called a 3, 4, 5 triangle, right? A 30, 40, 50 would work. 
Okay, if I multiply them all by 3, I'd have a 9, 12, 15. So, depending on what size of wall or concrete pad or whatever it is that you're going to be working on, you can move those numbers around. I'm actually going to divide them all by 2 so I can get it to fit on the chalkboard. So instead of being 3, 4, 5, it's going to be a foot and a half, 2, and 2 and a half feet. This line represents a control line or a wall line, and we know where a corner is going to be, so I, I laid it out, straight line, A, a to B, my point C is the corner or where I want a perpendicular line to come off of it. Perpendicular means square, means 90 degrees. So from this perpendicular corner, I always use the base as the as four and the altitude is three. So this time I told you I was going to divide everything by half, right? So I'm going to come from this point and measure over two feet. I, I put I put the two foot mark on the point. I've got my chalk on the inside of the butt end of the blade. So I know I've got two feet in between these two points, and I just scribed an arc on there. Okay? From this point now, I need to measure up the three side, right? Or since I'm taking it by half, it's a foot and a half, or 18 inches. Same thing. I lined up the 18 inches to my point on my AB line, laid my chalk inside of my tape measure, scribed an arc. Now from this point to this point, I should measure my five line or two and a half feet. There's my two and a half feet. X marks the spot. So now I take my chalk line from here, pull it through my X, snap my line, and I've just created a 90 degree triangle. Now your wall's square. It's just as easy as that. <coughs> 